Hello people that in the house are doing. Um, so just a quick message, and I have to congratulate the Department of Education for doing this step, and obviously the government. Um, so basically, you know, food supplies are going to uh, secondary schools for children that, you know, parents are making it hard to make an ends meet at the moment, are in financial struggles. Or sometimes, you know, it doesn't unfortunately have to say this, but um, some parents put, you know, drugs and uh, drink in front of their own children, uh, which is sad, and it's very sad. But this food... Um, I'm talking about it's the food supplies for children that are in need at the moment of time in secondary school, so you haven't got any food. Um, and it's supposed to go to 250,000 um, children across this country, and which I'm very happy the Department of Education have done this. Um, so I'm giving them loads of credit for this. This is the first time I'm giving the Department of Education credit for it, um, for anything. But I'm happy, I'm delighted with it. Um, but uh, I'm just going to say this, you have to contact your local school if you, if somebody is here watching it and you need the food for your children. Um, you know, please, you know, contact the local school and tell them about it. But I'm just saying this to people and I'm saying this straight to people. There will be some people who will try and take advantage of this and will try and get um, food off other people's mouths, in other words, the people they need it. Um, please don't be that low to do that. Um, because we are aware there will be some people do, who are trying to do that. And if you, I'm just going to say this, if you don't need it, you know, please don't uh, take it out of somebody else's mouth. Um, this food is for people, we have identified many people who need it. Um, and, you know, do, please don't take it out of their mouth because we have to, we have to take care of these children too, along with other people. So um, if you can afford to buy your own food, please do. Um, but, you know, some people are struggling at the moment because they've lost their jobs. Um, and obviously parents make it hard to make ends meet and obviously that's what the food's there for but it has been given to every a supply has been given to every sector of school in the country um, which is great um, but but I'm just saying to people don't be that low to do that because uh, with the Department of Education are very aware that people will try and do that but um, you will be you will be prosecuted for it um, if you if you can afford and you're just trying to make a fool of the state at this time uh, we won't take much nonsense from you um, but yeah, I'm just saying to people, I'm really happy with the Department of Education for doing this. Um, obviously, you know, I'm just going to say this to the other people who are struggling at the moment. Of time. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask for this if you're struggling. Um, we are following hard times and, you know, we're here to help. The local authorities and the government are here to help. Um, we're here to help. We're here to help you as much as we can. Um, so don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, there's one more thing too. If you ever, if your school, um, secondary school doesn't have, some schools may not have uh, the most amount, the biggest amount of supply for schools, and um, most schools might have bigger ones, and small other schools might have smaller supply. And um, if you find it hard, and you find it hard to feed yourself and your family, don't be afraid to contact your local authorities, um, because we're here to help. In Calvin County, County, we have food um, left aside. We have uh, stacks of food left aside for people who need it, um, at the moment, and we have been giving them out for the last few weeks. Um, you know, for people who need them, and like, and the only thing, the only how, the only reason how we know. Somebody needs because they tell us, and we we come out and we see them and we give them the food, um. So please, you know, don't be afraid. Don't be so um. Don't feel like you're, uh, you know, we're looking down you or anything like that, giving you food or anything like that. Because some people do feel like that. We want to help you. We do want to help you. We're putting loads of resources, um, in our county council, um, aside for food, for food uh, to help families and everything. We put a huge amount of resources. We took a huge amount of resources out of different departments. Um, to keep you know to afford to buy food, you know to to keep people the other these people um who've lost their jobs and everything we we kept that aside. So please don't be uh, afraid to ask because we're here to help. Uh, along with the Department of Education, don't be afraid. Simple as that. Don't be afraid to ask if you're feeling that hard to struggle if you feel, if you're struggling to, uh, survive and feed yourself. Don't be afraid to ask. Um, so just to say you know contact your local school if you need this, and I really just have to say again to the Department of Education, I never really that. You know how you mighty with them, or you know, giving them that much credit with them, for them, and you know, obviously the government and everybody give them much credit. But um, I give you credit now because it's a good thing you have done here, um. So thank you very much for them, the and the country takes you, um, because you know some children will eat tonight. Thank you, um. So we we're, we're very thankful for that. So thank you.